Hi everyone, welcome back. So, I've been trying to do this daily doll thing, and I've decided, you know, it's not really as fun, and I don't really feel as in the zone when I constantly have to narrate to a camera. So I've decided uh, I'm just going to do weekly updates. I'll take you through the dolls that I did over the week. The ones that I want to show, anyhow. And I'll just talk them through. Alright, for now, we're going to do a special repaint requested by my friend, Will. Um, we've been both very uh, enamored by this a trend on TikTok about strawberry cows. People make strawberry cow dolls. I saw a doll repaint just today. And I was like, you know, maybe I should do something like this. And it was Will's encouragement that, you know, pushed me to end up making this video. So, our base is today. I'm just going to make this head a little bigger so they're the same size. Our bases today are Enchantimals dolls. I don't really know how I feel about Enchantimals. They're uh, kind of what happened after Ever After High. There were like four sprite dolls, four sprite characters that, you know, bred this idea. Like, this is all that remained after, uh, you know, Disney was like, you're not allowed to have a popular thing about fairy tales. Only we are. As if they, you know, invented any of those stories. But I do like these models. I do like, you know, the molded uh, animal ears and all that stuff. I think some of the designs are very cute. But today we're going to make some strawberry cows. So on the left, we have the characters called Kaylee Cow. On the right is Cambry Cow. These are the two um, humanoid cow hybrids, the anthros, if you will. I'm trying to appeal to that furry audience that I totally have. So the first thing we're going to do is clean off the faces. Okay, yeah. going to be an actual repaint. I'm not going to be taking from uh, other sources. I'm just going to paint from scratch. Now I could have I could have um, you know just copied this character twice because it's the same mold face you know, you could see even the right ear on both of them has the flower on it. But, nah, I wanted to do this. So yeah, this would be easier if I could just take a Q-tip and acetone and put it on my screen, but that's not really how that works. But that's okay, because the trade-off is, uh, I'm allowed to make mistakes with this, and I can make the job look as clean as I want. As opposed to, you know, drawing with markers. Which is how I would do a repaint. I use markers, not paint. Sharpie marker is resilient. It, um, you know, you just gotta wait for a few seconds for it to dry, and then you can even, um, I 
didn't mean to, but I ran some water over a doll that I painted with Sharpie marker because I was trying to clean it off. Um, I didn't I didn't mean to get you know any of the water on the Sharpie, but it didn't even affect it. I wouldn't recommend bringing it into a bathtub or whatever, but it's a uh, it's meant for less delicate collectors or just people who want to play with dolls, which is who I want to make dolls for. You know, I know that I have to like make some money. I have to spend money to make money. And I would try and do that through, you know, X hundred dollar collectible dolls. But what I want to do is make dolls that people can afford and people can buy for their kids. And I'm very inspired by, you know, kids liking it when they have dolls that look like them. Especially kids with uh, visible disabilities. Or, like, unique uh, skin conditions or anything like that. That didn't come out so good. We're just gonna, <laughs> with the lips, we're just gonna uh, take that to a new layer. But first, let's work on painting over this. I know someone's gonna, someone might be like a, you know, it would be faster if you used a bigger brush, but I want to make sure that the shading is still believable. I'm not very good with shading. I like working with the uh, flat colors. Like, I'm good with color theory, but I... It's just very difficult for me to um, get the hang of natural shadows and the like. I don't know why. But I know my strong suits, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put myself down. So yeah, I wanted to comment, um, the little pink nose, it's cute, but it doesn't say cow to me, so I'm going to be doing something more cow-like, don't worry. Oh no, I just realized they have two pairs of ears. Here's the human ears, and here's the cow ears, so <laughs> let's, let's, uh, cut out the human ears. Because that's creepy. Oh no. What's the point? What's the point of giving them cow ears? If you're just also going to give them human ears and make them look like, you know, they're just wearing a headband. That is a weird design. Oh no. Okay, so we'll, first we'll do the lips and then we'll take care of that issue. That one's easy. This one I'm just going to grayscale. Mm 
let's see what the and then this okay so I just gotta bring it up by 10 turn up the saturation it's already starting to blend in I think that's the best I can do. But that's okay, because I'm going to be painting over it anyhow. Trying not to let any pink peek out from other under it. Okay. Now we have these blank faces. <laughs> so, what do we do about it? Oh. <laughs> Get rid of uh, the ears. I'm going to shorten their hair while I'm at it. On the real deal, I would, uh, replace the hair entirely, but for now, let's just start here, and then we'll see where it goes. wanted to name that because I'm going to be working with layers. I know for a fact that I am. I'm going to make that look natural now. I may just end up giving them little hairstyles, but want to start like this. There's one. See, this is another reason why a daily uh, doll video just isn't um, a good idea. I can't narrate the whole time, but I don't want to make this a speed paint or whatever. I can't believe they gave these two pairs of ears. And it's not like, it's not a detachable headband, it's just part of the head. That's so 
That's so weird. Okay. Now that we have these. Next thing we're going to do is a uh, quote unquote dye the skin. And real quick, just the way to do that is turn everything sepia, change everything to pink. There, <laughs> now it's dyed. Strawberry calves. Okay, so from here, we're gonna start from scratch, draw some faces. First thing we're gonna do, spots. Little cow spots. And by spots, I mean, they're gonna be strawberry shaped. No, it's a little difficult to see, so uh, I will be fixing this. I think what we'll do is decrease the brightness. That's better already, but Let me give this one freckles. Yeah, I think that's pretty cute. I'll change the size of some of these so it doesn't look too uniform. Sorry, I just need to uh, check something. 
Okay. Now we got the spots. Now that we have the spots, we can put down... You know what? I'll keep the spots on a different layer, because now we're going to put down the outline for the eyes. be a good size. You couldn't tell. I don't know if you can. I'm drawing this with my finger. I've got a touch screen. Which makes drawing a lot easier because I never, uh, <laughs> I never, um, installed my, uh, tablet. See, another good thing, another plus about uh, drawing on a computer is that when I want the same shape, I just copy and paste. Not bad. Gonna have their pupils be little strawberries. Okay. I don't know if you could tell by the clicking, but now I'm drawing with my mouse.
And then like I said with the nose, I'm going to try and make it look more like a cow. Cows have big, cute, round snoots. I don't know why they didn't take advantage of that. So this would be just paint. Okay, now we have the outline for that one. I think I'm essentially just going to be coloring these in, or just at least tracing over them. But uh, I know that's not how it works in real life, so I'm just going to take advantage of this. And this one's going to be winking. And they're looking at each other because they, they're, uh, they're girlfriends. <laughs> they're girlfriends and they love each other. Also going to have strawberry pupils. Essentially the eyes are going to be the same style. I know that doesn't look like a strawberry, but it will after coloring it. Okay, and then the same thing. Give this one a little snoot. Cute little cow snoot. This was a great idea. I love cows. Will loves cows. We love this strawberry cow trend. Look at him. I give this one an eyebrow piercing. Yeah. Oh, they're so cute. I'm I'm kind of proud of this. This. see it with the spots yeah that's not bad now we're gonna start coloring I'm just going to mm, nah 
I want to trace over them. Oh, wait, no. Hang on. I can trace over them and still have it be all black. So first thing we do is this, which is the sclera. I'm just going to have it be white. Nothing too crazy. Then I'm going to go outside the lines and then just crop it off. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Oh no, the first thing I should do is blush and eyeshadow. I want to do it in the order of an actual repaint. But there's the sclera. Just making that layer blush. We will take the color of their skin and then mess with that a little bit here. Make a good blush color. Yeah, that's good. And then the eyeshadow. I've decided that uh, at least this one's going to have some eyeshadow. And it will be a nice dark green like the leaves on a strawberry. not too bad so far. Let's see it with the square now. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Now we're going to take the outline. And now it is a uh, appropriate. It's it with what's it it's within the lines. Now we do the outer color here. These colors aren't really based on anything besides you know, off the cuff judgment. Sorry, someone's lighting fireworks outside. It's very annoying. And you are gonna have this color eyes.
just going to shape this a little better. Now I'm just going to take this off the outline reason I'm doing this is because I could just do that. And then delete it. Take that color, delete it. Because now we have this outside um, we have this reference already. And I can go like that, bring it down a layer, and now it's under the outline, and it, <laughs> and it looks decent again. Yeah. On top of that, I'm going to do a new color. Let's do a different color. I like that better. Okay. Just do that again. Now it's fixed again. Now we're gonna get these strawberries. Uh, that color's too similar. Okay. That's not a problem. People should be darker anyhow.
Let's get seeds as well. I've decided that, uh, this one's eyes are too much the color of her skin, so. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Not bad at all. I'll give the strawberry some outline while I'm at it. Not bad so far. Now, doing the eyelash is going to be doing the eyelashes is going to be fairly easy cuz all I'm going to do is just change the color. I'll fix the shape of them as well, but Sorry, just uh, 
responding to something. <laughs> this is how we pad out the video. Okay. I like that. I think that's pretty good. Now essentially all we have to do is uh, the snoots and then whatever else I put on the face. <laughs> That's an easy fix. There. Now they got their little snoots. And then here... It's just gonna be white. And then we have the snoots. Now we're just going to do everything else. Oh wait, let me change the outline of my snoots as well. If you don't give, you know, if you change the uh, color of the outline, it makes it a little bit softer looking. Now we're just gonna do the finishing touches. I'll make this the color of the hair. that color. It's too light. Hang on. Okay, there we go. to fix this before I put the gradient on it, but as long as no one's looking. Okay. This, I'm gonna We're just seeing what looks good. Yeah, 
I like it. Cool. Oh, I should get at these flowers. Let me do the flowers and then that'll be it. Yeah, I'll get at the flowers. Just isolate them like this. I'm gonna bring them to another layer. Whatever. Good. And what I want to do, essentially, you know, I don't even need that much of a selection. Just going to color in pink and green, same colors of the strawberries. Almost done. Look at you, strawberry cow. You make me go wow. Let me get this little last bit here. So that, those are the strawberry cows. I hope y'all like this video, it's a little, uh, not what I usually do. But I'm proud of how it came out. And it was worth, uh, you know, going on recording for. Um, if you're ever inspired by anything I make and end up making something like this of your own, please let me know because I'd love to see. Alright. Bye.